Hi, Paul Monaco here from Golf Editing, and today I want to give you my take on the new Adidas ZG21 golf shoes. And what I'd like to do is go over my experience with them. I've been wearing them for four rounds now, and ultimately I want to see if they're absolutely worth spending $220 for them. Um, I'm going to give you my personal take on it, and then I'm also going to give you some of the technical aspects that Adidas has put into the shoe. So, let's start. Um, last year, November, I had met with Adidas here at my office and one of the most anticipated products to come out for 2021 was this beautiful Adidas ZG21 golf shoes. Um, the highlights were zero compromise and lightweight. Finally, after, you know, finally golf season come around to open and COVID, uh, I finally had a chance to wear them. Now, you know, First and foremost, before buying a golf shoe, I want to see whether, you know, what my style of shoe is. Uh, I'm an avid golfer. I play a lot. Um, I'm a 12 handicap. I really look for something with performance. I think of the shoe as part of my golf equipment. So I'm really wanting to see, you know, if it's a fit for me. Um, I love performance golf shoes. I think they're integral and very important as part of my golf swing as a whole and to me playing better golf. So I wanted to give these a ride. Um, I can't, you know, the first time I took them out, I took them right out of the box and wore them. And I was pretty impressed that, that you know, I didn't have to break them in. They were super lightweight as they promised. The technical features of it, you know, the grip, the performance were unbelievable. I really, really enjoyed the shoes. After 18 holes of wearing them, uh, I have sensed no fatigue in my feet. Um, and that's something that's really important for me. Um, after 18 holes, I don't want to be wearing a shoe and then finding out that I can't wait to take them off and put on my regular feet, regular shoes, not feet, uh, to put on my regular shoes. So in that sense, um, they were wonderful. It felt like I was walking on cloud. It's almost like memory foam, but with uh, with spring so you know like memory foam it, it'll compress and then you know shape to you know whatever you know whether your foot or whether your head if it's a pillow or a mattress but these have what's called an energy return system and I love the felt feeling that my feet were engaged felt energetic I felt that I could push off my feet there for me they were absolutely you know an, an amazing experience I did, at that point, I really didn't look into the, you know, didn't dive deep into the technology of it because I just wanted to see whether, you know, how, what Adidas promised about the shoe would translate into the actual, you know, wearing of them. So for me, I really love them. Now, would I spend $220 on a golf shoe? Listen, for me, as an avid golfer, as part of my equipment, and I love equipment, I love technology, uh, for me, this is a gamer shoe for me. Um, if for you, if you're not an avid golfer and you're just a recreational golfer, you know, I may not spend the $220. Um, there are a lot of other shoes that are in the $100 price range that you can get that you can, you know, absolutely are fine with. But for somebody who's looking for a performance piece and looking for ultimate comfort, um, you know, for me, they go hand in hand. I love this combination of the Adidas ZG21 shoes. Now. On the technical side, um, you know, Adidas did, had done some wonderful thing. What I like a lot about it, uh, which is really not mentioned, is that it's made from all sustainable products, which is very, you know, earth friendly. Um, so let's get into some of the technical features that they put. So the, what they tried to achieve here, from what I understand, is that, you know, the, the shoe was 20% lighter than their, you know, than other shoes generally in the market. So you don't have to carry all this weight around you with your feet, which helps with the fatigue and energy and relief, which are some of the things that I absolutely love. Now, um, this here is called a sprint skin upper. It's kind of like four layers of material um, that they use to make this a sprint skin. And it's kind of cool, actually. It has a really wonderful texture to it. It almost, it feels kind of resistant as you, you know, as I put my fingers across it. And it almost feels like leather. Um, it's quite fascinating. Uh, waterproof as well, one-year waterproof. 
uh, which is fine. Um, I don't think I wear shoes past one year, so I just want to make sure that they're, you know, it has a waterproof that I'm looking for in the in the interim in the duration of its use. Uh, they've actually added some uh, light strike boost here. So this white part here is called light strike. This here encompasses the boost technology, which you can just see in here. And that is, if you look, Google it, I'm not going to bore you with the details of it. It's actually what gives that energy return system um, to your feet. It's, so when you compress it, it springs back and it doesn't degrade. It keeps doing that over and over and over again. So it's pretty hard to degrade the shoe, which means that, you know, sometimes when you wear a shoe after a while, you can just kind of feel it flattening out and it doesn't feel like it did initially. So I think you'll enjoy that part of it. The, the longevity of it is pretty cool. Um, secondly, uh, what they call a swing plane traction. So apparently what they've done here with Adidas is that, you know, all the spikes, uh, they use some heat sensors or heat maps, I should say, and where to optimally place all these spikes. As you can notice this outline here, the gray outline is typically falls in place with the footprint of your shoe. So that gives you a little bit of extra support. And if you can see up close here, um, the spike plus version part of it are these little fins or tractions, um, which give you that additional traction, you know, when either on your backswing or follow through or walking up a hill or down a hill. Um, I was pretty impressed with the traction of it. I didn't have any reservations whatsoever, any slippage whatsoever. I played in damp conditions, dry conditions. So they were great all around for me. What they've also done is they've added what's called this TPU on the heel here. You know, you can see that up close. So that's a little bit of plastic that reinforces the heel. So what's nice about that is that when you have your foot in the shoe, you don't sense any slippage from your heel. So your foot feels nicely engaged in the shoe and you can feel it feels very structured and very supportive, which is what something I really, really enjoy. I don't like shoes that kind of, as you're walking, they tend to slip out. So they gave me the support that I was, that I really liked. Now, additionally, what they did here is that you can kind of see this on the technical side is that I'm going to just come up a little bit closer to here is that this is also TPU. This provides a little bit of additional lateral support. So whether it's on the backswing or the follow through, what they're trying to do is give you a little bit more stabilization on the side of your foot. So your foot doesn't really roll over as much. So you don't want that, you know, kind of swaying. So you kind of a little bit more stable, which is, uh, I, I felt that as well. It's probably not as prominent as a feel than the heel part of it, but I did notice that I wasn't really rolling out. Secondly, what I did notice is that on the, um, on the width of the shoe, at the, ball, at, at the ball of your foot, it is a little bit wider. What that enables me to do, what the design of it is, is that my toes and my, in the toe box don't feel cramped. It allows me, my feet to engage, my toes to engage with the ground. That is something that is really paramount these days with regards to the swing is that you're using the ground force to activate energy. So allowing the freedom of the toes in the toe box is, is vital for me in, in a shoe. Uh, you can see this shoe uh, being worn by a lot of tour players these days, um, Dustin Johnson, Xander Shoffley, Colin Marcara, and there's a reason for it. It actually works. Now, would I spend $220? You know, as an avid golfer, you know, I spend $500 on a driver, you know, $300 on a three wood. Um, you know, how can you not spend that kind of money for a performance golf shoe that gives you the ultimate comfort? So I would definitely buy it, um, and I did buy it. Now for those, again, like I said previously, you know, would you want to invest for $220? I, if you're not an avid golfer and just recreational, I don't think there's a need for it. Uh, but for those who are looking for something very special and unique, um, there's no question about it. This is part of your game. This is part of who, you know, your handicap. This is part of your swing. This is part of you, part of your comfort. 
you know, part of the sensation of, of golfing as well. So I think it's absolutely worth it. Um, what else can I say about the shoe? Um, feels wonderful, lightweight. Again, I think Adidas, you know, hit it on the mark with this shoe. They got every point across. I love the fact that it's, just, it's all made from sustainable products. Uh, I forgot to mention that they do have memory foam on the, around the, the side of your ankles to give you that additional comfort. Um, I like my feet feeling comfortable. That is so important for me. And to get that performance out of it as well, um, you know, that combination is just top notch. Um, I, listen, uh, I, th I think Adidas did a great job. And I think, you know, if you're looking for comfort and performance, you're absolutely gonna enjoy this shoe. So thanks for watching, Paul Monaco from Golf Inning, and uh, see you on the next one, bye.